Welcome guys to a tutorial for Mountain Blade Viking Conquest. Here I'm gonna show you how the choices that you make when creating a character will affect your starting statistics, basically your attributes and your skills. You simply cannot give your character a cool name, put attributes and skills on random and pray to Lord Jesus that you're gonna have an excellent beginning of a game or even a cool game in general. That's why I'm gonna show you guys what each choice means regarding attributes and skill points and then I'll give an example. But before I begin, I wanna say that I didn't invent these numbers, I just found them online, so I tested that source. I'll link the original post in the video description in case you want to check it out. First of all, you should know that these choices will affect your starting attributes and these ones will affect your starting skill. Vocation and religion will have almost no impact. It's good to know that the base attributes are the following, 4 in strength and agility and also intelligence and 5 in charisma. Now let's have a look at the options. Regarding ethnicity, you can see that you will get a total of plus 2 attribute points for each option that you will choose. Also you have a really nice mix depending on your choice. Gender wise, a male will have plus 4 in strength and plus 4 in agility and a woman will have plus 4 in intelligence and charisma. It makes perfect sense, as we all know, this describes very accurately real life. Height will also give you a total of plus 2 attribute points. You can choose what you prefer between strength and agility. Age has an interesting spread of attributes, and from my point of view, choosing to play as an adult would make the most sense as you get the most number of points, as you can see, and also you have a really good spread between all the 4 attributes. Personality has a useless option in case you know these stats. As you can see, Melancholic has the same attributes as Phlegmatic, but it has an extra point in Charisma. Choleric has the most points and is a big advantage over Sanguine since the 2 points difference means 2 levels for a character. And the latest, Greatest Virtue has a really good balance between attributes, except for Justice, which has 3 unlike 2 for the other skills but choosing Fortitude or Temperance would give your character a plus one in Athletics, respectively plus one in Iron Flesh skill. This is really important to take into account, as a skill can only be increased when its assigned attribute is increased two times, meaning two character levels. And in our case, increasing the Athletic skills would require two levels in Agility, and increasing Iron Flesh skill plus one would require two levels in Strength. As I said before, the father's occupation and what the character learned as a kid will influence your starting skills. The base value skills, you can find them at the bottom with blue. I'm not going to go over all of them as they are 24 and it will take ages, but you can always pause the video and write them down. What's interesting to see here is that certain skill choices will reduce your skill, but they will never go below zero. What you've learned as a kid will also have an impact on your proficiency with weapons. Cool to see that if you have a martial arts background, you start with the maximum values in all weapons, while having oratory will give your character the least. But you'll be able to read while being a complete handicap with weapons. Anyway, I wouldn't put too much focus on weapon proficiency when making the character, as with each level you will get 10 points to add and you can maximize any skill quite fast. As I said in the beginning, vocation will not influence you that much. Except the choice of the priest that will let you read or hunter that will give you a plus 2 skill in power draw. The other options won't do shit. And religion is useless. Now let me show you with an example how to use all this info in order to make your beginning of the adventure as epic as possible. Let's say you want to create a character that is very strong as a hitter, that will not die in one hit and also be able to recover wounded allies as soon as possible. Looking through all the available skills that you will need, we can focus on 5. Iron Skin, Power Strike, Wound Treatment, Surgery and First Aid. But to increase these skills, your character will need as much strength and intelligence as possible. Now that we know what attributes to focus on, let's build our character. I'm going to choose to be a Frisian since it has plus one for each attribute. A male, but I'll keep in mind to recover intelligence with other choices. Going to be tall since it gives plus two in strength and an adult as it has really good balance between strength and intelligence. 
going to choose a melancholic personality to recover some of the intelligence and justice as an option for greatest virtue for the same reasons. And of course, now if you're a Chinese, you've already done the math in your head and you know the results. But for all the rest, me included, we have the results in the base attributes. For the father's occupation, I'm going to choose a priest since it helps a lot in the wound treatment, surgery and first aid while having no drawbacks in strength skills. And finally, in the learned as child option, I'm going to choose oratory for the same reasons as before while only taking a penalty of minus 2 in power strike. And by the way, this may not be the best uh, choices to increase strength and intelligence, but the purpose is to show you guys that these numbers are correct and you can use them. And now that I've done my choices on paper, let's check them in game. As you can see, we've added here the options that we had before. Frisian, male, tall, adult, melancholic, justice. And our father was a priest and we've learned as a child fucking oratory. For these two, I haven't done anything, so I really don't give a shit as they don't influence that much. Okay, so let's check the results. I don't care about this. And indeed, it's exactly what we expected. 14 in strength. 11 in agility, 11 intelligence and 9 in charisma. Now, to make it more balanced, first of all you need to to put 3 more here and the last one you can choose depending on whatever you like. Let's say, uh, I don't know, intelligence because you'll get an extra skill point here. So with all these 15 skills, you can easily, let's see here, put in surgery max, wound treatment max and then iron flash and maximize your power strike fuck it so as you can see after you give your character an epic name you can easily begin your adventure with a really strong uh, strong healer that with 7-7 seven, seven, and a dude that can easily heal your party without no trouble so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comment section below what you thought of it and don't forget to support the channel by subscribing and liking the video cheers